This is the twelfth video in chapter four of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This explains the subdivided rectangles method for making a set of stairs. And what we're going to aim for in this video is basically what you see in front of you right now. It's just a little object that consists of a, a set of stairs. If I go up here and get the tools uh, dimension, so I'm going to get the dimension tool. From up here, I'm going to show you how big this thing is. So watch. I'm just going to click on this edge and drag out. So you'll see that the staircase is a total of 20 feet long, and it's 10 feet high. You can see that right there. And so if we look at each of these treads, each tread is one foot long, and the risers are actually six inches high. So the stair we're going to make in this video is each, each tread is a foot wide and the risers are six inches high. The total length of the staircase is 20 feet, and the total height of the staircase is 10 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and just erase everything that we have there. I'm going to hit Control A or Command A on a Mac to select everything and delete to delete everything. Now let's just go ahead and start drawing here. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle, and that rectangle was going to be 20 feet long, so 20 feet, enter, by, I think I had it five feet wide, so five feet, there we go. Let's go back up in that direction, there we go, and there. Okay, so what I've got now is a 20 foot by five foot rectangle, and what I need to do now is I know I need, uh, let's see, if the thing was 20 feet long and each tread was a foot, uh, then that means I need 20, 20 treads, right? So what I want to do is subdivide this line into 20 little line segments. So you'll see that that tread or that edge right now is one long edge. But if I click on that and then right click on it and choose divide, now I can do, if you look down here in the lower right portion of the screen, as I kind of slide my mouse along, you'll see that I'm ending up with different numbers of segments. Right there I end up with 20. Or what I can do is just type in 20 and enter. And what's just happened is SketchUp has automatically divided up this long edge into 20 shorter edges for me. So now what I can do is just go ahead and grab each of these things. Notice before I didn't have endpoints, but now I do have endpoints. So there's an endpoint. And I'm just going to go through and draw in all these edges as I go. Now this is probably the right time to address where do you build a set of stairs, right? If you've got stairs that are in a building, which they usually are, then do you want to build them in place or do you want to build them outside and then move them in? I highly recommend the latter, actually. Uh, if you try and build them in place, you're going to be dealing with section cuts and hiding and showing things. You're always going to have things in the way. I think it's easier to sort of measure the kind of stair that you need and then go through and um, build it outside and then maybe make it a group, which you'll learn about in Chapter 5, and then move it inside and you'll have a whole lot more flexibility doing it that way. Okay, so what we've done is I've used this rectangle, I've used the divide command here on the right click menu in SketchUp to divide up one of these edges into 20 smaller edges. I used the line tool to just kind of draw some edges that create a whole bunch of treads. And now what I want to do is go up in the vertical direction. And remember how this thing was 10 feet high, right? So I'm going to type in 10 feet and enter, and that thing's exactly 10 feet high now. I'm going to hit escape to cancel the edge. So you notice that it was kind of drawing here. I'm going to hit escape so that it's not drawing anymore. And I'm going to do the same thing with the divide command here. So let's right click on that line and say divide. Now, how many risers did we need was the question. So the nice thing here is it's actually going to give me the length of each one if I do, there we go, 20 segments. Each one has a length of six inches. That's perfect, right? So six inches, I'm going to click there. And what I've got now is a whole bunch of edges on the end. What I've got, though, is a whole bunch of endpoints that I can snap to. So watch. I'm going to use the push-pull tool to start push-pulling. Here we go. I'm going to click, and I'm just going to hover over. Notice how there's all these endpoints showing up on that vertical line that I drew? Well, I'm going to use those right now. I'm going to use that inferring behavior in SketchUp to draw this. So I'm going to go up to the first endpoint that I can find and click. And then I'm going to bring this one up to exactly that height and bring this one up to exactly that height. And I'm going to keep doing this until I go crazy, actually. That's what I would do if I had to do all of them in this way. So you figure 20 steps times 20 thing, that's like 400 clicks. It's not worth it. 
The better way to do this is to push-pull this all the way up into the second to last one. There we go. Actually, you know what? I think we actually want to bring it all the way up to the top one, just like that. And then I'm just going to kind of keep bringing these up until the lowest. Oops, I accidentally push pulled uh, this in. I didn't want to do that, so I'm just going to hit Escape to cancel what I was doing. And here I'm just kind of push pulling these things up until I see those little. I excuse me, until I see those little green indicators on the line that's telling me that I'm at the right height. And as I come over here, everything's going to end up okay now. We're getting a little Bob Ross here because it's kind of boring to watch, but I'm just going to go through it, um, and I think you're going to get the general idea of what I'm doing. So skip ahead a little bit if you're bored with this. If you kind of like to watch oddly repetitive and hypnotic actions, then go ahead and keep watching if you like. So you can see what I mean by saying that the this method, the um, the coffee, this, I'm sorry, this method is called the subdivided rectangles method. It's pretty simple to understand but it's kind of boring to watch and, and believe it or not it's actually pretty boring to do too so you'll kind of get the idea of what's going on here let's just kind of bring this up as well there we go okay so what we've got now is basically what we started out with this whole thing's 20 feet long it's 10 feet high and I've got a set of stairs that are each um, an equal height and as I draw I kind of uh, you know muse about other things but all I have to do now is get the eraser and just erase out the stuff I don't want. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of dragging the eraser across these vertical lines. There we go. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Now watch what happens if I accidentally make a mistake and come up here. Oops, I, I don't know, I sneezed and I got rid of that. Oops, I made a mess. If I want to undo that, I'm just going to hit undo. That's Apple Z on a Mac or Control Z on Windows. And I can just kind of go ahead and erase this stuff again. All right. So I dragged over those, and now I've got a set of stairs that's 10 feet high and 20 feet long using the subdivided rectangles method. And the key to that is the divide command right in SketchUp, right there. Okay, that's the end of the 12th video for Chapter 4 in Google SketchUp for Dummies.